review our English teacher. Ed is our English teacher. He teaches us English. We go to his class on Wednesday and Friday. Ed teaches us to speak English. He shows us how to read English. He shows us how to write English. Ed is a good teacher. He seldom gets angry. We seldom get in trouble in his class. We love to learn English together with Ed. Let's uh, read that one more time. Ed is our English teacher. He teaches us English. We go to his class on Wednesday and Friday. Ed teaches us to speak English. He shows us how to read English. He shows us how to write English. Ed is a good teacher. He seldom gets angry. We seldom get in trouble in his class. We love to learn English together with Ted. Ed, excuse me. Let's look at the new words. We have the word English. 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 We have the word teaches. So first, we have the word teach. But then, when you add ES, now you have to say, now you have to say, teaches. Okay, again, when you only have, when you only have uh, the word teach, as in I teach, it is just one sound, one syllable, teach. But when you add ES to teach, you get teaches. Now it's two syllables, teaches, okay? So again, teach, teaches, okay? Teach, teaches. Let's continue. Class, class, English class, math class, okay? Speak. Okay, we have the word speak, and then you plus S, it becomes speaks, okay? Uh, oh, by the way, the, uh, the past tense of speak is spoke, okay? And the past tense of teach is taught, okay? I should have said that before. I apologize. Okay, so again, teach, teaches, taught. Okay, very good. Speak, speaks, and then the past tense, spoke. Good, let's continue. We have uh, the next word, show. I show you something. Look, I'll show you my, my toy. Show, see, oops, it's under my mask. Show, see? I show you, I'll show you my toy, uh, toy Lego person, I'll show you my toy car, okay, I'll show you my, uh, my glue, okay, show, so when you show somebody something, you let them see it, okay, show, so we have the word show, and then shows, and then the past tense, showed, Okay, showed. Okay, good. Uh, let's look at the next word. Write. Uh, 
Okay, when you write something, you take a pen and you write it down, right? And then, of course, there is writes. And then the past tense of write is wrote. Okay, look what I wrote. See, I wrote something. I wrote these words. I wrote, okay, because it's past tense. So I wrote it. I wrote these words, okay, or I wrote a letter to my mother. Okay, I wrote a card for my friend. Okay, uh, wrote. Good. Number seven, we have the word learn, learn, learn. When you learn something, uh, you know, uh, I teach you something and you learn it, you put it in your brain. Okay, learn. Okay, good. And of course, we have the word learns, learns, plus s, and then the past has learned, learned, okay, learned. Good, and the last word is together. Okay, let me separate that. See, three sounds, three syllables, together, together, okay, good. All right, let's do these uh, uh, questions and see how many we can get right, okay? Good. All right, the first question is, my grandfather something English. My grandfather English English? Probably not, right? Yes, probably my, not my grandfather English English, right? Uh, my grandfather teaches English, okay? Is that possible? Maybe, maybe my grandfather speaks English. Either one is possible, right? Yes, my grandfather class English? That doesn't make sense, okay? Oh, look, my grandfather learns English. So now we have three possible answers, right? Oh, my grandfather writes English. That's possible, right? So we have four possible answers, all right? So we're going to Pretend that um, all of them are possible, okay? All right, so my grandfather teach. Can I just write teach? Because my grandfather is he, right? So I have to say my grandfather teaches English or my grandfather learn. Can I just write learn? Because again, my grandfather is he and uh, so, I have to add the S to the verb, right? So my grandfather learns English. Um, what's another possibility? Oh, there it is, right there. My grandfather speaks English or my grandfather writes English. All these four answers are possible. The other ones are not, okay? So we just, uh, it's possible that all these are the answers. So We'll see when we you do the other questions, which ones we can um, take out, okay? All right, let's uh, do number two. All right, number two, it says, he blank me to ride a bike. All right, here we go. So your grandfather, you know, teaches English, learns English, speaks English, and writes English. And now I need to say he something me how to uh, how to ride a bike. Okay, so I think in in this case it could be he teaches me how to ride a bike, right? Yes, or he showed me how to ride a bike. Yes, the other ones don't make sense, right? So these two answers are possible. So. He teaches me how to ride a bike, or he shows me how to ride a bike. Wait a minute. You already know how to ride a bike. So if your grandfather teaches you or shows you how to ride a bike, it must be long ago. So it's past tense. So instead of saying, he teaches me how to ride a bike, or he shows me how to ride a bike, I should say the past tense of teach. And what is the past tense of teach? 
taught. Very good. He taught me how to ride ride a bike. Or what is the past tense of show? He showed me how to ride a bike. Okay. So these two are possible. Okay. Okay. So let's see. But look. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let's see if we can. Uh, figure it out okay all right number three he blanked me how to fix my bike too okay wait a minute so so now we we cannot we don't want to use the same word uh, uh, twice right so uh this one um he you can say he taught me how to ride, fix my bike or he showed me how to fix my bike so in other words the answer is exactly the same as number two. Both these words will work in number three. You can say, he taught me how to fix my bike, or he showed me how to fix my bike. So I think both are okay, all right? So uh, let's pick one and, um, and be done with it. So let's say we say that uh, the first word is taught that for number two, okay? So we use the word taught in number two. That means we can't use it for number three. So number three, we have to use the word show. And also, because we use the word taught in number two, we can't use the word teach in number one because teach and taught are the same words, right? So I can't use teach in number one, okay? All right, so now in the, for number one, we are down to only three possible answers, okay? Good. Let's look at number four. He also taught me how to something with a pencil. Well, what do you do with a pencil? What do you do with a pencil? What can you do with a pencil, right? So he also taught me how to... Do, 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 do. Ah, probably this one. Right, right with a pencil. Right, so he also taught me how to write with the pencil, and this write doesn't have an s because it follows the word to. It is after the word to, so it doesn't have the third person singular s. Okay, so he also taught me how to write with a pencil. So now we use the word write in number four, so we can erase the possible answer uh, for number one as right okay good let's do number five okay i like to something blank from my grandfather okay i like to english from my grandfather no i like to it's because your grandfather teaches you many things or he has taught you many things so that means you like to probably he taught me many things and we had a happy time doing it so oh there it is probably i like to learn from my grandfather okay here we go so i like to learn from my grandfather okay but if the answer for number five is learn, then it cannot be the answer for number one. So now we know the answer for number one is speaks. My grandfather speaks English, okay? I don't know why that has anything to do with the story, but okay. All right, so I like to learn from my grandfather, okay? All right, let's look at number six, which has nothing to do or a little bit to do with our the previous sentences all right i like to go to english 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 no nope. english together no nope. In, oh there it is i like to go to english class that makes sense i like to go to english class very good all right let's look at number seven my friend and i learn english english <laughs> no my friend and I learn English 
uh, English, English, English. Oh, there it is. My friend and I learned English together. That means you and your friend together, you, you and uh, your friend uh, go to class together, maybe go to the same English class, have the same English teacher, so on and so forth, right? So my friend and I learn English together, okay? Good. And something is not hard. Oh, there it is. English is not hard. Good. English is not hard. In fact, English is probably the easiest subject you learn in school, although it is hard in its own way, right? Good. All right. So here's the review for our English teacher. Here are all the answers. Okay. Uh, please learn them because you might be asked to do them uh, in class. Okay, thank you for watching. I have been Teacher Daniel. See you soon.